Hey, what's going on guys? Comic again Z here. In this video we're going to implement an evaluation function for our chess program. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start. So let's draft the evaluation function. So I say def evaluate, it takes the self instance and Let's define the score variable equals to zero and at the end we need to return the score depending on site. So for black we want the negative score and for white we want the positive score. So I can say minus score if self dot site so equals to one means black so minus score else just the positive score. And this is needed for uh, to serve the purposes of returning the static evaluation within the Nigamax search algorithm. Okay, so now the static evaluation itself. So we need to look over the board square. So I say four square in range and length of self dot board. We need the square index to index the P square tables. That's the reason why I don't do four piece in, in self board. Now let's define the piece it equals to self dot board indexed by the square. Now we need to avoid uh, stepping off board. So I can say if piece not in, so empty square stands for off board, dot stands for, uh, sorry, empty square, yes, yeah, stands for off board, dot stands for empty square and new line stands for off board. So off board, empty square, another off board. So let's print our piece, okay. And yeah, obviously we need to call our evaluation. Yeah, we can also print the, we can also print the board here, okay. And here I can say print chess dot, evaluate because we just need to make sure that evaluation is symmetric okay zero is the evaluation value and we do pick up all the base pieces now we can use the piece uh, to reference the weights and p square table so let's start with the material weights first so here it's enough to say score plus equals self dot weights indexed by the piece Okay, should be zero. Great. And now let's play around with the FEN. So let's say I take away a single white pawn. It now should be minus 100 because that's the, that's the exact value of the pawn. So let's check this. Okay, if I take back, if I take away some black pawn as well, it should be back zero because we have the material balance. Good. So let's restore it back. Save. And now let's implement the uh positional evaluation so we have this pst which stands for p square tables so the, the idea behind this array is, is the following so it's ex it has the exact exactly the same layout as the chessboard so 10 by 12 elements and uh let's say pawn lands here in this case we have uh in this case we have uh, uh the poor scores five points Say pawn is here, on e3 it scores like uh, 10 points, on e4 it scores 20 points, etc. So I hope this is clear. So, but we need to distinguish uh, between the white and black pieces obviously. So for white pieces we're going to be using the positive numbers from this array and for black pieces we're going to be using the negative numbers. Okay, so here I can say if piece dot is upper so uppercase pieces stands for white pieces so if it's a white piece in this case uh, we can simply say score plus equals self dot pst indexed by the square and if piece dot is lower which means it's the black piece then I say score minus minus equals self dot bsd indexed by the square okay and now just to give uh so well uh, by default it should be zero because we have the starting position 
Uh, and now, well, just to demonstrate this a bit more, pre a bit more in, a, in a more didactic way, so let's get rid of the zeros for now, of these fives for now. And it still should be zero, okay. And now let's alter the FE in the following way. So I get rid of the pawn here and put it on E3. So four, pawn three, save. And so we have the value of 10. Okay, so here pawn scores 10. So if we just put it here, it would, it would score, score 20. Okay, so put it on E4. 4.3 save now it should score 20 okay now let's say we put the pawn on e5 it should be again like zero because we have the equal position so i hope it's clear save okay and here we go uh zero again but uh don't don't get confused by the values so if we just uh keep it back to five and to five here, then it, here the white pawn will score only five because 10 minus five is equal to five. Okay, so it's no longer uh, scores five here, while this pawn scores five here, so it's just a difference. So how this pawn is better than this one? Uh, five points better. I hope that's clear, so let's demonstrate that as well, just to avoid you being confused. So save pawn save and uh yeah now it would be 20 minus 5 it would be minus uh, uh it would be a uh, 15 now it should the score should be 15 yeah okay and here respectively this on e3 it should be 5 okay 5 because we have 10 minus 5 equals to 5. That's kind of it. Okay, let's restore the FEN and we are done for this part. We just hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, just forgot just to put the pawn back. Save. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is from my side. So. Hope you've enjoyed the video and in the next part we're going to be implementing the NIGMEC search algorithm to finally make our chess program searching for a best move. This is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time and take care.